Hello and welcome guys to this second official static strength competition by Fitness Kid. We have received over hundreds of applications from all over the world and we got participants from almost each continent. We started with 32 athletes but by now we only got 16 left and we are battling for the grand prize of 200 euro and the one thing every calisthenics athlete dreams of and that is a sponsorship by Fitness Kit. So now, hello, my name is Dion Jameson, also known as Dion of the Bar on Instagram. But before we get into the rules, let's first say hello to our wonderful judges. Judges. Hello, guys. My name is Alex Walensky, aka Bar and Sky. I'm one of the judges. Oh, come on up, your mic is still muted. Well, sorry for that. So I'm Viktor Kamenov uh, from Bulgaria, and it's a big pleasure to be part of the judge team. Thank you. Hi, guys. I'm Tan from Germany. I'm, I'm really excited to judge this event. So let's go. So this is really, really awesome. These are three of the strongest athletes probably in the calisthenics game right now. And it's an honor to have you here to judge this awesome competition. But right now, let's get into the rules. Our judges will uh, judge the participants in five categories. One of them is pull. Of course, that's pretty self-explanatory. Everything that is a pull, like a front lever pull up, um, one arm pulls and everything of that nature. Next, we got push. And for push, you have things like a handstand push up, planche push up, and so on. But other things can also be considered push. Balance. That is one of the most nuanced things. Uh, and last time, the judges um, sometimes really didn't saw athletes do sometimes balance because balance is kind of hard, uh, hard to distinguish at times. But it's things like a handstand, a handstand press, and so on. Next, we got combos, and that's, of course, pretty self-explanatory as well. The longer you can do one continuous combo, okay, the better it is. And you can even move kind of, I guess, from one spot to another if you do it by doing a move. That wouldn't break the uh, combo, I guess. And the last thing, of course, is creativity. And this is the category especially for ties. So if two athletes are on a pretty similar level, this one will decide who will take the cake for this day. So the athlete who wins the most categories will be the athlete who will move on to the next round. The other athlete will be eliminated from the contest. But no worries for all athletes who are eliminated and even the ones who are already out. There's still the possibility to win the, pri the community prize that you can vote for. So all the participants have videos uploaded right now on the YouTube channel. And you can follow and subscribe and vote for your favorite athlete by liking their performance. And the athlete with the most likes will win the prize. So no worries, there's always a way to win for you or your favorite athlete. But right now, I don't want to go much deeper into talking, but you are here to see some awesome battles. So this is what we are going to start right now. Round one of the static strength competition. We have Azilus from Poland and Ali Ras from Iran. So let's go. We start strong with a one arm front lever walk. Okay, okay. This is crazy strength. This dude, he takes no breaks. He's starting right off the bat, pushing out into the blanche. Yes, 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 walking it. I couldn't see the grip quite there. Nice. Closing up with one hand, other hand on the side of the spar. Looks like he's <laughs> back liver testing. Nice, nice, nice. He don't want to waste any time. Is that a victory? No, no, no. Impossible dip <laughs> on the legs of his perilous. Nice. 
typewriter planching. Man, 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 this man is crazy strong. Let's go. Prayer planch walk. Walking it up. Oh, yeah. This is exactly what we are here to see. Wow, and round two. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Starting here with the front lever pulls. Wow, wow, wow. Changing grips in between and pulling in close. This is some major pull strength right here. Yes. This suit can go on for days with them front lever pulls, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's walking straight into the planche. Ali Ross, let's go. This dude used to have scoliosis and he, that's why he started calisthenics. So would you believe that this guy had at one point problem with his back <laughs> doing this nice Hephaestus? Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, I can see this dude really, really knows his pull, but also push is no joke. Yes, moving into the Victorian. And is he done? No, no. He's also going for the feet of his bar for a very wide planche. And that was the first round. But right now, judges, you have the stage. So I would say we start with a push category. For me, the winner of a push is Patrick Ciolos. I really like his typewriter push-ups and his close grip push-up. And also in the end, the prayer planche press was nice. As you know, prayer planche is my signature move, so I really liked it. Yes, for the push, I can say Patrick wins. Uh, I mean, he made more complicated moves. Yeah, Ali Reza was clean, but if we look at complexity, then Patrick definitely kills it. And yeah, he, he made amazing skills, push skills. For me, the push category goes to Patrick. As the other judges says, the complexity was really insane and the execution of Patrick was also really clean, but also respect to Ali Reza for battling such a strong athlete. So we go on to the pool category. For me, it was a hard decision because it was kind of quality versus quantity. Seulis did at start a really clean one-arm front lever hold and press and back to one-arm front. Meanwhile, Ali Reza did a lot of pull-ups. And if I go quality versus quantity, quality wins. So pull goes for Patrick. Well, absolutely the same uh, the same thing I can say because we have quality. Because Ali Reza just made really clean front lever pull-ups against quantity and complexity because we saw really complex pull skills of uh, Patrick, but again, I'll go for the complexity, really. It's, uh, we, we saw a skills that we, we can see uh, that's uh, common. Yeah, so Patrick wins the pool. For me, the pool category goes to Patrick as well. I always prefer quality over quantity and his one-arm variations were really strong, so Patrick. So next category gonna be creativity. And I would say Patrick wins it. I really liked how he used his single bar, like going down and doing push-ups on this, like he has parallels. Patrick, again, for me, for creativity. Yeah, uh, Lirez right. did pretty, pretty normal, normal things, really clean, but Patrick was more creative. Yeah, creativity goes to Patrick. So now we go on to combo. I think Lirezza won with uh, category. He did it completely one combo in one minute without break while Patrick switched a bit from one one place to our. Same. Combo goes to Ali Reza. Combo goes to Ali Reza because of that long combo without letting off the bar. Mm -hmm. So, judges. Now, the last category is balance. I would say it's Ali Reza who win it. Well, I'll go for for Patrick, just because he did the press. But again, it's it's kind of hard to say. It actually doesn't matter because I think Patrick won most of the most of the uh, the other categories. Yeah. Yes, it's also very hard to decide who win balance because, like the judge said, but uh, I will keep this open because the other categories also uh, decide already. 
So ju the judges have made their decision. And as you can hear it right now, the winner of the first round of the Static Strength Competition is Mr. Patrick Zeolus. Congratulations, my brother. You're moving on to the next round. Yes, but Ali Reza, you had a good run today. You won one out of the five categories, and you should be proud of yourself. One time again, big congratulations for Zeolus, the first winner of this battle. But right now, I guess, we can move on to the next one. And don't forget, like and subscribe to the channel to not miss future battles. Now we have the weak one, who's definitely not weak, okay? Against his opponent. Okay, let's go. We're starting here, we're starting here right now. With a nice press, going there to his parallels. Pull up. Yes, very, very nice. Ay, 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 ay. Come on. The weak one's motivation to start with calisthenics actually was to become strong. My brother, I guess you made it. Okay, moving down to that front lever with no grip actually. One arm front lever. Nice, nice, nice. Going back up. A little break in between. Oh, look at that hand posture down there. With one hand on the bar. Awesome. Let's go, let's go. A little neck hold has to be in there. Always. Yes, yes, yes. Mr. Weak One who's not so weak. Come on. And now, Nicola. Let's go. Nikolai, sorry. Don't want to mispronounce that. Come on, come on, come on. Pressing up there. Nice hold. Okay, moving on to the bar. Taking a sweet time. Close front. Really, really good. Yes, 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 yes. Come on. And pull over on that little bar. Bam, pressing it up. Walking smoothly into that planche. Yes. Going for the front lever. Wow, wow, wow. The back breaker. Nice, like that. Moving on, moving on to a diamond planche. <laughs> and this dude, he does not know why he started, but he just says he simply fell in love with it. So, right now, I will give the word back to the judges. Judges, it's your time to decide. So we start with push again. I think this category goes for Nikolai. He had harder planche variations compared, uh, compared to a weak one. And I also liked his Maltese at start. Yes, again, the push goes to Nikolai. Uh, he made a Maltese in the, in the beginning. Yeah, it was not that big hold, but again, he had more variety of skills. The weak one, uh, the weak one made a press in the beginning, but had uh, less variety. He, he repeatedly was doing Full planche. Yeah, uh, so this time the push goes to Nikolai. Yeah. Push category goes to Nikolai because he did more quality with his uh, push uh, planches than the weak one, so Nikolai. So we're going on to the pull. It's Nikolai. For me, the, Nick, the weak one, because he made more variety of things. Yeah, Nikolai was really clean, but he made less things. Again, we go for this deciding which one is more important, quantity versus quality. But here I'll say the weak one. For me, pull category goes to Nikolai. So we're going on to creativity. For me, it was... Well, weak one who won it. I really liked the move in the end with the bars, bar and the ground combination of planche. Yes, uh, the creativity goes to the weak one exactly because of this skill. Yeah, Nikwai also did that banana front lever, but in my opinion, that's uh, already not creative. I mean, it was done like three, four years ago, but uh, I liked more, more the planche. Yes, so creativity goes to the weak one. Creativity goes to the weak one because of that last move. I really like that. 
next category is balance. I would say week one won it with his rested stars, which was kind of handstand, where Nikolai didn't do a balance move, I think. Yes, so the week one balance. Mm-hmm. Balance goes to the week one. So the final category would be combos then, judges. This is the say, deciding factor. Yeah, I would say with week one, get to a combo category because I liked the combination of push and pull without break on the bar he did. I'll say Nikolai for the combo just because he stepped out from the bar less while Nikolai was uh, walking around the forest. Yeah. For me, combos goes to the weak one. Wow, guys, you heard it here. This was a really, really close call. We had two categories for the weak one. We had two categories for Nikolai and then the final category, we had one vote for Nikolai, one vote for the weak one, okay. And the final decision, who won this round, is the weak one by one vote, guys, by one vote only. So congratulations, the weak one. You won this round by one vote. But still, this was an awesome, awesome round. I could feel the tension right now. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So congratulations again. But Nikolai, still pretty good performance, strong performance. It was such a hard call that you shouldn't be ashamed of yourself at all. But guys, don't forget, you can still vote for all your favorite athletes. For everybody who just has tuned in, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell to not miss the next battle. And you, like I said, vote for your athlete by leaving a like at the video of your choosing. But right now, we gonna move on to our next one. Round three of the Static Strength Battle. We have Yaren versus Mason. Israel versus Egypt. Wow, wow, we got a finger flange push up. Strict at the balcony, pressing it on his fingertips, on his fingertips, okay. Now he moved on the sands, back down again, in, in tight riding push-up, I guess. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go. Pressing it up again, pressing it up again. Here you go, my man, yes. And into a hand sand flag. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay, that was cool. Grabbing the... Is it a chair? Is it the bar? I can't quite... Ah, it's a bar. Couldn't quite make it out there. Awesome! Awesome, awesome. Close grip. Yep, yep. Up and down again. This dude has full control over his body. One more. Up and down. Man, man, man. And here we go next. Spinning into a typewriter. Starting with it. Awesome. Pressing it up. Wow. And this is pr a pretty similar style that I can see here. Put oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Into that handset flag. Also going into that one arm. Uh-huh. Holding it a bit longer, I guess. Wow. Wow, wow. Keep in mind, this dude trains three times a week. And has, um, oh, no. Like five days. And he trains three days a week. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. In that mixed grip planche, close grip. Oh, no problem for him. No struggle at all. And pulling it up again. Oh, yeah. This dude started because he just wanted to have a strong body shape. And right now he's out here doing the impossible. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, I'm going to leave this to the judges again. And I guess it's going to be pretty close. <laughs> I would say we start with balance. For me, the winner is Marzen. She had a longer hold during his flag, so nothing to say. Yes, Marzen, Marzen. He made one arm flag. So he wins, he wins the balance category. Balance goes to Marzen. Going to creativity, 
I think Yarin won this because I like the transition from handstand to the bar like he was doing like Maltese between ground and bar. Yes, for creativity, they both made creative things. I mean, Mazef, Mazen also went to a handstand in a really cool way, but again, I'll say Yarin, Yarin because of that unique grip, that unique transition, even though he didn't make it that clean, but still it's really, really interesting and unique. So it goes to Yarin, creativity. Creativity for me goes to Mazen because uh, Yarin kind of failed his uh, transition to the move, so I prepared the transition from Mazen. Going on to combo, I say Mazen won it. Same, Mazen. Combo goes to Mazen. Full category, winners, Mazen. Mazen, he made it much cleaner. Mm -hmm. Pull category goes to Mazen because he did pretty the same, but just in a better quality. So the last category is push. It was a hard decision, but I would say Yarin win it because I like the push, the finger planche push and press at the start. And he did, compared to Mazen, he did only typewriter in straddle, but oh and oh, I think he won the push category. Well, here was hard. Here was really hard, but I'll go for Mazen, uh, just because they both uh, made it really similar. Of course, Yarin go for straddle side push up while um, Mazen made it on full. Also, the Yarin planche push ups was just a just a half, but you know it's still a really hard decision. I'll go for Mazen, but they're both really really close. Yeah, push category is really hard to decide, like the other judge said, but. I think push category goes to Mazen because uh, even Yarin did a very nice uh, fingertips planche push up in the beginning. Mazen was overall cleaner and did harder moves. So, guys, there you have it. And it wasn't as close as I expected it to be, but the winner of this round of the static strength competition is. Mazin! Congratulations, brother! You're moving on to the next round, and you're still in for the chance of 200 euro plus the fitness kit sponsorship. Sorry, Yaren, you're out for now. Man, I really, really like you, really like your style. But as I said, it was pretty similar styles, and we are not in a live battle that where the opponents can see each other. So you run the risk to just show that you can do some things worse than your opponent. So that's a good thing to keep in mind when you are in a battle where you can see your opponent. Play into your strengths and not try to do something that your opponent is stronger in than yourself. But enough from my anal analysis right now. The judges have made their decision. Mazen, congratulations once more. But now, I guess, it's time to move on to our next battle. And this is round four. Oh yeah, we got Muat from Malaysia versus Josef from France. And there we go with a close one arm front. Nice, nice, nice. From Liverpool walking, one arm. Oh, that was kind of, hmm. I don't want to say anything about that. Pressing into that. Full planche, typewriting it. Oh, he's again in that parking lot. Awesome. You see, you can really train anywhere and everywhere. There you go. I love this style. Victorian. Bam. Closing it up again. Really, really nice. Only on his fingers. Look at that. With his fingers. Nice position for that planche. One more close grip we got there. Moving into to close back lever. One arm back liver. And he's gonna be going for a prayer. Yes, he's going for a prayer. Oh, 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 oh. I, I, I. Mmm. I, 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 I. Kind of a prayer. Oh, time was up. Now we have Yusuf going for the typewriter front. Nice, nice, nice. Like to see that. Pressing it up. Yes, good one. And. Bam! One arm 
front lever. There you go. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, pressing it up with that nice iguaning. Oh, super. Switching his body position. Very nice. Bam, and back again. Lost a little bit of control there. Yes, yes, come on. And pull it up again. Strong. So, this dude has been doing this for it for over six years now. And he just thought it looked interesting. And I have to say, yes, my friend, what you're doing right now really looks interesting. Going for that Hefesto. Does he still got time? Back lever Hefesto. Nice position. Really good. Oh, and that's it. The time is up. So now, judges, it's your time to decide who won this battle. We're starting with creativity, and I would say now for one way category, I really liked his uh, assisted one on Victorian start and also later on in the end the transition from prayer to form planche. So he wins this category. Yeah, creativity. Creativity for me goes to now for, Yeah, He made interesting creativity. stuff while Joseph made pretty normal things, but really clean. Mm -hmm. For me, creativity goes also to Nowful. Keep going to the balance, and I would say Yusuf win this category with his transition from side planche to iguana planche. Yes, Yosef we have here for for the balance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because of that iguana balance goes to Yusuf. We keep going to combo, and I say Yusuf win. He did a really great combination of push and pull without any break. Meanwhile, Naufal did two breaks in the end going to the ground. So, Yusuf wins combo. Yes, Yusuf wins combo. Uh, Naufal just uh, made two stops. So, yeah. Combo goes to Yusuf. Combo goes to Yusuf because of that clean, flawless combination. So, next category is pull, and I would say Naufal win. Well, was really hard because again we have uh, complexity versus uh, clean move. I'll I'll go for Joseph here. Yeah. What was that push or pull? I couldn't hear it, guys. Pull, pull, pull. pull? For yeah. me, pull goes to Norfolk. Even it was very close, but I always prefer the quality, and uh, he did. Even it was not that long hold, but the first move of Norfolk with that one arm front lever kind of forearm thing was better in my opinion. So last category, which decided it's going to be push. And it was also a really hard decision, but in my opinion, Yusuf was much cleaner doing his push elements. So Yusuf wins. Yeah, Josef wins because he made a really clean move, small tease, and uh, yeah, pretty normal statics push skills, but really clean. Like uh, while well, now fall, yeah, he made so hard push-ups on a full planche, but he was using a lot of motion, and also the form was not perfect. So, yeah, here they both are close, but I'll go for Josef. Yeah, very hard position. The push goes for me to Josef because he was way cleaner and he hold it longer than Naufal. Like Victor said, he used a lot of momentum. So, Yusuf. So, that was the final category. Once again, a pretty close call, but by one category, Mr. Yosef, you won this one from France. Let's go. I know that guy. I like that style. You are the winner of this round and you will move on to the next one and we'll still be in for the chance of the 200 euro prize, including that nice sponsorship. But still, now, Fall, you're an awesome and strong athlete and I know one of your biggest wishes is to become a legend who represents Malaysia all over the world on any kind of competitions. And for real, I would love to have you at my next competition whenever that will be. But again, Joseph, you're the winner for this round. Once more, big congratulations. 
And don't forget, guys, you can still vote for each and every participant of the 32 that joined this competition by voting on the video at the Fitness Kit YouTube page, okay? So don't forget to like and subscribe, especially so that you don't miss the next competition and who will win the final. And keep in mind, we also have got some women coming for the half final and final of this awesome competition. But I'm gonna talk about more on that a little bit later. Right now, we're gonna move on to our fifth battle. Let's go. And round number five. Here we got Ristov, the guy we have waited so long, and Gustavo from Spain. And here goes the crazy man Christoph again. Bam! Wow, 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 we... Whoa, he's pressing that. A dead push-up into a press and look at his grip, okay? That is really, really hard to go into the handstand with this grip, but he does it multiple times. Bam! Nice and controlled. Okay, pushing into that one-arm straddle. Nice, nice, nice. Support it. Come on, and some more pull-ups. Awesome start. Nice, 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 and he keeps on strong. Yes, moving it to a very, very wide grip. Nice, there you go, Christoph, yeah! And this dude, like I said, is a world lightweight champion from Moscow. Yes, 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 pressing down into the full flange, and now Mr. Gustavo pressing up the iguana. And I have to say, this is probably just as hard, if not even harder. Now, the one-arm handstand flag, ow! Pushing it down into a flange, yes, yes, but he moved his hand back to the bar again. Almost thought that was a one-arm, but nice form over there. My goodness. This man from Spain is strong. Close grip. Yes. Pulling it up. Oh. Come on, Gustavo. A little break there. Wide grip. Come on, come on. Yeah, and this dude, he actually was here in Frankfurt, Germany, and participated at the Frankfurt City Cup when I got that right now in my head. That dude is a beast, man. Let's go. I would love to see that guy at my competition always again. But both athletes had some strong rounds. Right now, it is up for the judges to decide. We start with a balance category, and this category goes for Gustav. He had a great iguana planche with position to one of leg. So he wins. Yeah, balance goal to Gusta just because of that uh, first move, the transition. I have to say that because Gustav used um, bars were not in our rules, he had get some minus point, but still the balance goes to Gusta. We keep going to a push category. It was for me hard to decide because they did a few similar moves like white planches and Gustav did like iguana planche while Gustav did supine grip. But as Latwist said, it's a kind of equal, equal push category points, but it goes to Christoph because he used a portable bar. Same for me, push goals for Christoph also because of the bar, also because of the quality of the elements. We show uh, we, he he showed us really great control, also also really great form. So yeah, really the complexity was hard to decide, but really Daniel was insanely clean. Yeah. Yeah, very tough decision, but push category goes to Daniel. We keep going with pull. It's for Christoph. Same, pull goes to, for Christoph. Yeah, pull goes to Christoph. Next category is combo. It's for Christoph. Same, for Christoph combo. Yeah, combo goes to Christoph. 
And the last category is creativity. I think Gustav won it with this transition from one arm flag to the supine X grip planche. Well, here is hard to say. I'll go for Christoph just because of the number of interesting things that he showed. For example, the Maltese on a different levels, also this planche, uh, also the rotation, and then the, the transition back to the planche on the floor. So just because of that, because he made a lot of things that are pretty unique, I'll go for Christoph here. Yeah, very tough decision. I like Gustav's uh, transition from his planche a lot, but I also think that creativity goes to Daniel Christoph because he did more and a lot of creative stuff in his whole combo. So the judges have made their final decision for this round. So this was kind of a close one again. Man, 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 Gustavo got some minus points because he didn't use the right bar for this competition. There are some rules and it's kind of unfair if bars try to perform on their shaky bars, you know, and get some balance points and stuff like that. And then we got some athletes, you know, on some hard bars anchored into the ground. But let's not go deeper into that. The winner of this round, if you not already have guessed it, is Mr. Daniel Christoph. Oh, yeah. But no worries, Gustav. You're still in for the, uh, for the fan prize. But major congratulations for Christoph. You're still in and you are still, you still have the possibility to win the grand prize plus the sponsorship. Man, man, man. These battles are really, really heating up. And I guess it's time to move on to our next one. We're almost halfway done here. And now we have round number six. We have Darnell versus Nif. Let's go. First start on the ground with a wide press. Come on, come on, come on. And down again. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, stay strong. Pressing it up. Tiger bending it. Switching into prayer. Nice transition. Come on, come on. Down and up again. Yes. Come on, stay strong. And he's moving up to his parallel. Good one. X gripping. X grip. Pull ups. Nice. Changing the grip in between. Very, very cool. Yes, 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 yes. And a one arm. That was awesome. Okay. Whoa! Nice one. Jumping straight into that one arm planche. Awesome. And press it up again. Okay. This is really next level. Wow, wow, wow. Pressing into the one arm. On the other hand, this dude is really perfectly balanced. Is there even a... Wow. Moving back to a... Ah, oh, one-arm handstand flag. Nice. This dude has incredible power and control. Yes, yes. And pressing up. Come on. Keep that strength going. Very nice. Moving down into the full planche. And... Pressing it up again. Let's go, Nif. Yes, this man is here live from Israel. Strong, strong. This dude just saw calisthenics on YouTube. And that's actually his backstory. And he was like, man, I want to do that too. <laughs> okay. But right now, judges, it's your time to decide who won this incredible round. I would say we start with an easy category. We go for pull and... Daniel wins this category. Nif had no pull elements in his combo. Same. Darnell wins it. The pull. Pull category goes to Darnell. We go on with balance and Nif is the winner. Yes, he wins it. Nif wins the balance. Balance goes to Nif. Next category is Creativity, 
I really like the transition from Daniel from Blanche to Tiger Band to Prayer, but the first move of Nif kind of killed everything. She's jumped to one on Blanche, one with category for him. Creativity for Nif. Creativity goes for Nif just because of that first move, which is was jumped to one on one on uh, Blanche, which was really hard. Yeah. I disagree with the other judges because I don't like the form of the one arm planche. It wasn't that clean. So Darnell wins for me the creativity because of that transition to prayer planche. Oh, last category is push. It was again a hard decision, but I think Nif was bit cleaner doing his presses and also his one arm planche was really strong. He get up into handstand, so he wins the push category for me. Well, here I'll say none just because they're really hard to compare and we already know who won the other categories. And yeah, um, Darno started with the Maltese. He even tried to press, uh, then went down. While Nif uh, goes to gold for one arm planche, which was again not that clean as uh, Marinsky said. But here I'll just say none, and actually it doesn't matter, since we already know the other categories. For me, push category is very hard to decide as well, but for me, Daniel wins. So, judges, um, did, you, did you have all categories? I felt like I kind of missed some. Because we got creativity, we got push and pull, definitely. Um, balance but, and combo. Yeah, Maybe balance. we missed combo, I'm not sure, but if we keep going to combo, Nif had one combo without stop, while Daniel stopped two or three times, so combo goes to Nif. Yeah, yeah same, same. So combo goes combos to go to Nif for sure. So if I have that right right now, we got combos for nif we got balance for nif and uh, and we got creativity as i heard that right now for nif so we already have three categories for nif so you know what that means darnell definitely got his categories as well especially the pull because nif did not do any pull at all so if i hear that out right correctly right now this round officially goes to Mr. Nif. The dude had the amazing presses, got the creativity, the balance, the long combo, and decided this round for himself. And man, I really have to say, that start that he pushed out there was really, really amazing. But Nif, you have to keep in mind, if you don't use your bar. You will miss out on a lot of points that you could have potentially gotten. But on the other hand, we don't want to play down Darnell. We don't want to play down Darnell. That was awesome. He had an awesome round. But still, Nif, you're officially into the next round. Congratulations, guys. And for everybody who have just tuned in, don't forget... All participants that are out of the official competition to win the grand prize can still win the prize for favorites, okay? So you can choose your favorite athlete. Each of them has a video out on the Fitness Kit YouTube channel, and you vote by simply liking the athlete that you like. Easy. And you know what? If you don't want to miss the next battle, just use the like and subscribe button, and don't forget to ring that little bell so you will be notified when the next battle comes up. And keep in mind, we also got some girls for the next two competitions coming up. But right now, we have two rounds left for this awesome competition today, and I can't wait to see what these rounds bring. So let's move on to the next one. Number seven, we have Juan versus only Tavares, Colombia versus Brazil. This is a hot-blooded battle right now. And he's starting 
with a two finger pledge. Ouch! 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 Oh my goodness! And he pulled it off. My goodness! Some front lever pulls. Yes, yes, yes. Pulling over into the Victoria. Yes, little slip there into the front lever. One more pull over. Come on, come on, come on. That start was so amazingly strong. Juan. Yes, yes, yes. Walking it up back into the planche. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This dude has been doing calisthenics since 2016. Come on, press it up, press it up. He says he found his salvation in this sport. Wow. It's passion and happiness. And now we move on to Tavares. Let's go. Finger planching it. This dude is strong and crazy strong that is. Pressing it up into his one arm handstand. Let's go. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Handstand flag push up tricep extension how should i call that that was awesome pressing up to the full planche yes he got his bar right there awesome into the victorian yes 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 and walking nice from side to side let's go come on come on and some back lever pulls this dude has actually 17 titles, you know that? And he has participated in Battle of the Bars in Los Angeles. So Tavares is a really, really seasoned athlete right now. So judges, make your decision for this awesome, almost final round. So guys, just to be sure, if you sent us a video, it starts with zero seconds, so if you do nothing during the first 10 seconds, you lose a lot of your time. And the other 10 seconds, if you put a video of 110, the last 10 seconds won't count. So just remember for, for later on, for the next rounds. So we start with pull, and I would say Tavares won with category. He was much cleaner, in my opinion. Absolutely, Tavares wins the pool. Pull category goes to Tavares. We keep going to balance, and I would say Juan won with category with his two finger planche on the bar. It's a really hard balance move. It's really hard to, de to decide, really, because also Tavares made one arm handstand, but just because uh, Juan made it on the bar, which makes it significantly harder than, than the floor. Uh, I'll go for balance for him, for Juan. We also have to mention that um, Juan was on stiff bar, so he hasn't used a portable bar, so he definitely get minus points to that as well. Uh, for me, uh, balance goes to Tavares because he did a one arm handstand on the ground. I can't count uh, Juan's two finger planche on the bars, even it was really hard for sure, but on a fixed bar, something different than on a portable bar. So we keep going to push category and for me, Tavares is the winner. He was again much cleaner and his holds were really good compared to Juan. Yes, Tavares wins the push. And I can say that he was much cleaner compared to Juan. Juan looked way cleaner in the first round we saw the last week. And he was, I think, in, on the floor. And it looks like he's not training that much on supine grip. And we saw a little bit bent arms and this kind of stuff. Uh, so here, just because of the cleanness, Tavares was much cleaner. Almost perfect. Uh, the push goes to him, Tavares. Push category goes to Tavares. We keep going to combo, and I think Juan did zero breaks during his combo compared to Tavares. He switched from ground to bar, so Juan won okay, combo. Yes, Juan won the combo. Yeah, Juan won the combination because of that flawless combo. And last category, creativity. 
I really liked with two finger planes of Juan, as I said, but Tavares did more creative moves like the handstand uh, side push up and also on the bar doing the pulls, like going to the side. So he wins with creativity. Yes, uh, Tavares wins the creativity. Uh, absolutely, the two finger planche is also creative, but you know, Tavares made more things, more things. Creativity goes to Tavares. Yes. So, there we have it. This one was, again, pretty, pretty close, guys. So, if you kept track to what the judges have said, you have probably already know who won this round. But, just to make it clear for everybody, keep the tension high. Drum roll, please. And, for almost the final round of this battle, the winner is Mr. Tavares. Congratulations, man. You're really, really a beast. And like you, like you can see, this guy is a seasoned athlete with 17 titles, participated already in Los Angeles, Battle of the Bars. This dude is crazy, crazy strong. And he deserves to move on into the next round. But still, Juan, you were really crazy, crazy strong. And I love that two-finger planche in the beginning. Man, 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 could have been a little, little bit cleaner probably. And you could have used a, a mobile bar setup, you know. But I don't want to talk too much about what could have been. We've got a winner for this round. Mr. Tavares, you're moving on to the next round and still have a chance to win the grand prize. And... Yes, I got to mention it again because people are coming and people are going. So keep in mind, everybody who's out can still win the prize for the favorite athlete of this competition by simply going to Fitness Kit and leaving a like at the video for your athlete. So don't forget to like and subscribe, ring that little notification bell, and you won't miss the next competition for sure. So... But this is the moment that we've all been waiting for for a while. It's the final battle of the evening coming up right now. Round number eight. And here we have Stefan Herote versus Tai Chi. Let's go. This dude was really creative the last time and he's keeping it going. Nice, nice, nice. This is his nice go-to transition, I guess. Into the back lever and pesto. Awesome strength. Ripping the side of the bar. Come on. Two fingers only. My goodness. I, I, I don't want to say nothing about that. <laughs> But some strong fingers you got there, brother. Pulling it up. Nice. Into the straddle planche. Really nice. Really clean. They train an awesome center there. Okay. Moving it to the back lever. Come on. Back lever pulls. This dude is strong. And done with this round. Mr. Tai Chi. Yes. Like that grip. Pressing it up again. Yeah, you need a hell of balance for that. Man, did they battle each other in the same hall? So, they probably already know who got this. Nice, nice, nice. Nice changing up the grip. No, not the grip, the position, the lag position. Sorry for that. Moving it down to a close grip. Let's go. I like the pulls. Yes, yes, yes. Mr. Tai Chi. Started calisthenics for a nice community sport and when he started it, he just fell in love with it. Yes, up there with the Hefesto. You can't even imagine, this dude has only been doing this for two and a half years. Come on, pressing it up into a straddle. Yes, yes, come on, come on, don't lose the time. Front flip down, yeah, and the time is up. So... I can definitely say, I guess you see who is the more seasoned athlete in this final round. But I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to announce. So I'm going to leave that to our wonderful judges right now. We start with a pull category and I say it goes for Stefan. 
Well, first I want to say that this is one of the most complicated battles maybe in this competition. We see that both of the combos are pretty similar and also the conditions. We see that they both are in the same gym, in the same bar, using the same bar, and they both are uh, not stopping the combo. So yeah, uh, as Barinski said, we, we go for the pool. I'll say Stefan, he, he wins it here. Yeah, very tough decision. But the pull category for me goes to Stefan because he was a little bit cleaner. So we keep going with balance and I would say Alex won with, he did few press, I think it was three presses. So he was three times kind of enhanced while Stefan did with two finger planche, straddle planche, but Alex won balance. Well, again, hard to decide. Uh, as Borinsky said, we have so pin handstand, press to handstand versus uh, that strange grip, yeah. But, you know, I can say from personal experience that it's really hard to do this type of press on this bar in that gym. So I'll go for balance for Alex, yeah. Balance goes to Tai Chi, Alex. So next category is push. Again, really hard decision, but... I think Alex won with, with his presses and push-ups, even if they were not this clean. I really like the vertical Maltese of Stefan at start, but I think in my opinion it wasn't it was a bit too short. It wasn't not long enough of hold. He didn't he go in it differently, instantly pressed already in the handstand. So push goes for Alex. Well, I share pretty the same opinion. Uh, as Alex said, um his Maltese was good, but it was a little bit under the level. Yeah, uh, well, Alex made those three presses and um, then the push-ups, even though they were not that clean. But again, they're so close, but this time I, I'll say Alex here. Yeah, very hard decision. But this one goes to Alex as well, because he did it in full, even when Stefan was also clean, but he did some moves in straddle, so Alex. So next category is creativity, and I say Stefan win this category. I like the transition from this vertical grip at start to the hands to the knees on the bar, and then going up with a combo, and also with two finger, this strange grip with supine two finger. So Stefan wins creativity. Creativity goes to Stefan because the transition it was pretty unique. We haven't seen it before. Also that grip. We saw from Alex that flip, which is, we can say creative, but in fact, it's pretty normal, normal exercise uh, from also from the other sports, let's say free run. But these ones are unique in, in calisthenics and also the transition from the Maltese to the back lever. So, so again, close, but, uh, but goes to Stefan here, creativity. Yeah, very hard to decide because this one was dynamic. The other guy was statics. But I really like the front flip because from a portable bar, you probably never going to see anybody doing a front flip. I'm pretty sad that the end was just cut off, so we can't see what he did after that. That's why I also decide Stefan for his strength move in the category creativity. So last category is combos. Again, hard decision. But I think Stefan combined his push and pull elements in a better way, so he gets this category for him. Stefan here for the combo for me. Absolutely hard to say, absolutely hard to say, but uh, he, as uh, Borinsky said, he combined them better. Different, different uh, elements, but he had better combination in my opinion, yeah. Yeah, in my opinion, combos go to Stefan because he was really clean with all the combos. So, my guys, if you followed along again, you probably already know, but this, like, uh, this, like mentioned, was a really, really close uh, battle. So, Victor already told us they had pretty similar, uh, similar conditions while doing their performance. Um, but, like I guess, we got one athlete who's a little bit more seasoned, I guess, with a little bit more experience in battling and combining their skills. And that was 
finally the one category that made all the difference. And it was combinations if you kept track to it. And the guy who won this is the guy who won everything tonight. Like, not everything, but this final battle. And the name of this man, this myth, this legend is Mr. Stefan! You won this final round, but still, Tai Chi, you had a good round, but... You are out of the competition, Mr. Aerotef. You are moving on and are still in for the chance to win the grand prize plus the awesome fitness kit sponsorship. I really, really like the style of Mr. Stefan Aerotef. He has a, he really knows what he can do and what he can, and he will really play into his strengths and use his time perfectly. And that is something that every athlete has to keep in mind from now on. Okay, but this was the awesome final round of the day, round number eight of our 16 awesome athletes that participated. But don't forget, for everybody who's just tuning in, but I guess a lot of people are still already in here, you can still choose your favorite athlete to win either 125 euros or the static strength bar by the end of our little competition here. Thanks once again for everybody who tuned in. Thanks for the wonderful fitness kit team for making this crazy, crazy competition possible. And of course, thanks to all our judges. So, right now, judges, do you want to have one word? The judges, yes. Judges, you fine? You yeah. want to say something? I just want to say thank you to all the amazing athletes and thank you for everybody who's watching this, these athletes doing an amazing job, especially being that kind of limited with their bar setup and being such creative. So respect to all athletes. You're amazing. Yeah, thanks to everybody for participating and also for having me as a judge. Uh, I can say that every other stage is getting more, more, uh, it's getting harder for us because, you know, we have more complex athletes versus more complex athletes, but, uh, you know, it's our work. So can't wait for the next week. As well, over to judges, I just can say thank you everyone for watching the stream. And I can't wait for the next rounds where at least get every round stronger and get used to the roots and the combos get more and more creative. So I can't wait to see it. Okay, so people, and don't forget to tune in next Saturday at the same time for the quarter finals. We're almost here. We almost know who is the winner of this awesome competition. And don't forget to also tune in for our wonderful female athletes who are going to join this awesome competition. I got a little, little list of our female athletes also right here for you. We have, these are Instagram handles, by the way. So we have Venim, uh, Ven, Venima Kamen uh, from, Ho I, in Germany we say Holland, but it's the Netherlands, basically. Then <laughs> as next, we have Anesthetics. Next, we have Leah SBLPL Pro. Next on, y uh, Jazzy Silvino. And, wow, this is hard, Feet Priscilla and Neil K.K. Ree. So, I just read the names of the awesome girls who are going to compete also in the quarterfinals. Don't forget to like and subscribe to not miss the finals. And one little message from our sponsors for you. The um, Fitness Kit is not only a company who does this for promotion, but they really love the sport and they like to promote us and our skills as well. So this is not only happening for our own gain, but this is at first place happening for you. Because like you have seen, there were no competitions, people were staying at home, everybody was craving for something to do in this calisthenics world, and Fitness Kit saw how the athletes just wanted to participate again and decided, you know what, 
We gotta make it possible. And this is how this whole thing began. So once more, thanks again for not only doing this awesome competition, but believing in the sport of calisthenics and especially in believing in all of you guys and in us. So have a nice evening and until next.